My name is Pauline Hasvan and I'm the director of Cherished Hills Senior Sanctuary and I also founded um, the organization back in 2017. I got into um, doing rescue and discovered that um, seniors were often overlooked and um, in shelters they just kind of languished waiting for people um, to come and save them and so we started uh, rescuing seniors and we rescue mostly from shelters. We rescue a lot of dogs with medical issues so we always need additional support um, to uh, pay for the uh, vet care for those dogs because I'm sure most people understand that seniors um, typically have higher um, costs um, associated with it. And so, um, so we have been doing this for a little over four years and we have rescued um, almost 900 dogs and cats, a few cats, um, in that time. And of those, uh, the large majority of them have been adopted into safe and loving homes. Um, and the ones that are not adoptable, we have the option of being able to keep them in foster long term until they pass away. So they can be um, in a loving home with a foster, um, and we call that foster uh, care. So we have both options uh, for dogs that are a little younger and a bit healthier. They can be adopted, and then for those that are either um, too advanced in age, they get to stay with us. So that's what we do, and um, we're really looking for um, more support for people to get the word out about the rescue and what we're doing and uh, donations. We actually have a few fosters in the Phoenix area, so we do have some dogs that live up in Phoenix um, and that and surrounding area, and we take dogs from all over Arizona, California, Texas, and New Mexico. So, um, and we take from a lot of high kill shelters. We actually have lately been taking in a few younger dogs um, because they are at extreme risk for euthanasia, even though they're only one or two years old. We're always looking for fosters, good, reliable foster homes. Um, we help with transportation a lot of times. Um, of course, donations um, for um, the vet care for the animals and just the general care of the animals. Um, and then, like I said, to get the word out about the rescue. So the guy that I'm holding, Chippo, um, he's about 10 and he's mostly blind. And he came to us actually from the White Mountain Humane Society because um, he was having a hard time finding a home up there. And they were hoping that if he got into an urban area that he might have more options for a forever home. And then the big boys that we had here, um, Huey and Axel, they're also about 10. And they're a bonded pair, which is sometimes a little harder to find a home for two dogs. We actually do adoption events um, four times a month, typically in four different PetSmart locations in Tucson, so we kind of go all over the city. We have one east side locations, two midtown locations, and a northwest um, location. And then we periodically, about three times a year, do events up in the Phoenix area. We um, are on Instagram and uh, Twitter, and then we have a Facebook page, um, and then we of course have our own website too.